Hey you guys, it's Brit tonight. We're here to talk about Scarlett and Tiana. They are a TikTok mother-daughter channel that I have covered in the past, but she recently came out and said something that I found just absolutely appalling and her points are completely outrageous and this not only applies to her, but other families and you know, family vloggers that I cover as well. This ties into the entire conversation and I want to talk about it. So if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys. So I have covered this channel before, like I've said, and I'm currently playing a little bit of catch up. So this video was posted about, um, it was posted on the 5th of December. So about two weeks ago, but I, I feel so strongly about this topic that I'm going to go ahead and cover it, even though it's not just happened. You know, this mother has been exposed multiple times for screaming at her daughter, for showing that she literally has zero views when it comes to something not being done on her timing, her schedule, her way, whatever she had in mind, and she has a very short fuse. And that fuse has blown up on camera multiple times. And I, I'm a big, I pay a lot of attention to patterns. And I've mentioned that before, but when I see somebody creating a pattern online, that says to me, this is not just a one-off thing because I'm here for second and even third chances. Um, but if you are exploiting your children and it is to this level where literally everything on her in her videos is link this, buy that, where I bought that, look at this new thing, look at this new great thing. And it's just monetization to the fullest extent. And you're still on top of that being problematic in itself. You have also shown that you have a pattern of being a bad mom. And I try to not throw that label around too often because I know that some people um, really take offense to that. But there are some people that I've covered on my channel and I think that they are bad parents. There is no other way to look at it. If you are exploiting your children, blowing up on them on camera because they're not doing something that you want them to do for a monetized video and you're constantly oversharing and doing all of this kind of stuff. Um, I think that that warrants an opinion of mine to say that you're a bad parent. I've seen enough of your content to have my own opinion about it. But let's get into this video. She feels like she has to readdress things because, you know, the haters are bringing up old videos. And I've said it once, I'll say it a thousand more times. Once you put something on the internet, it is there forever. You cannot get mad at people for continuing to talk about something that happened. You posted it online. I have posted bad takes of mine online and they're there forever. If people make the decision to continue to talk about it, whether or not you take accountability or it's been addressed or whatever, you cannot control what other people want to talk about. You just cannot control it. One thing I want to say before we get into this video is I feel like one of the biggest things that I've learned, especially during my time on YouTube, I already knew it before YouTube, but being online really encapsulated and confirmed for me that you will be such a better person mentally, emotionally, um, you know, and that also ties into being better physically because I know when I feel good mentally, I also feel good physically. It all ties in together. Um, when you stop trying to control how other people think, you're going to feel a lot better. Once you can fully accept, okay, not everybody is going to like me. I am not going to be everybody's cup of tea. And some people might say, hey, you're not my cup of tea. And I think that you're a raging bitch and you are not entitled to have these opinions because you are uh, a mean girl. 
that's okay. Those are your opinions. You can sit on the side with those. Um, I, I think that they're absolutely ridiculous, but I am not here to try to control what other people think about me because my content speaks for itself. Am I perfect? No. Will I have bad takes? Absolutely. Will I correct them if I have been proven wrong and I feel like I really messed up? I've had to do that a couple times during my time on YouTube. You know, it's not been anything near as serious as what this lady gets herself, um, you know, wrapped up in screaming at her child. Um, but bad takes are forgivable. We are human. But what I see with these influencers so often is they try to act like they don't care, but they really do care because they're constantly getting upset that so-and-so made a video about you, so-and-so left uh, a bunch of comments that weren't in your favor, so-and-so did a reaction to your content and they were, you know, picking apart something that you said. And they act like they don't care, but they really do care. And I think that, you know, a, a recent topic being Lauren the Mortician, we can see through her own actions. She is one of the influencers who wanted to act like she didn't care until the mask slipped and we saw just how far she would take it to um, try to silence people. But either way, this is not about Lauren and all of her toxicity, but let's go ahead and get into this video and I will insert other clips throughout that kind of go against what she is saying and I will also put my commentary throughout as always. So let's just start at the top and hear what she has to say. Um, we're going to address the situation once again. I've already addressed it back in September when I uploaded a video of me and Scarlett doing like a, we were building this thing and I yelled at Scarlett. live stream because I've seen the video many times, but it really makes me question, did you really think that you were wrong if you edited the video and posted it? Or was that during a live stream where it wasn't intended to be seen, but you were on live and obviously, you know, people clip things from live streams all the time. Was that what happened? Because if you truly realize that I have a temper problem and I should not yell at my child and I just yelled at my child, why are you editing that video and posting it? And if it's during a live stream, well, then you're just showing people what happened behind the four walls of your home when everything is not, you know, uh, cute little mommy daughter outfits and TikTok trends. Either way, it's bad. I apologize to Scarlett. Yes, I'm impatient. Yes, I feel like sometimes, I don't want to say anger issues. I don't want to say that. It's like when I'm PMSing, then I get a little irritable. And yes, I should not have yelled at Scarlett. We are all not perfect. Everybody's got something they got to work on. Everybody does. Mine happens to be my patient and me getting frustrated and yelling for y'all to make it seem like it's anything other than that is not okay. Is she really trying to blame her screaming at her child on PMSing? Because I can tell you that having a little bit of impatience is absolutely normal. I get impatient and I don't have kids, so I can only imagine the level of impatience that comes along, comes along with parenthood. But um, I can also tell you that other moms go through the same thing and they're not literally using that as an excuse to scream at their children. 
and use that as an explanation of sorts. I find that to be extremely alarming that, um, so you're saying once a month you lose your fuse and uh, scream at your child and that's your excuse that gets you out of it every single time? Because for me, I think that that is uh, an absolutely awful narrative to not only try to feed to people that might believe it, but also post this video that is going to possibly impact your daughter down the road when she looks back and sees that mom was blaming her anger issues every single month and why she was screaming at me on PMS. Honestly, I am working on that. It's been three months since that incident happened. Um, and here we are again, because someone has decided to re-upload it. So here we are. But what about all the other incidents? Because we have seen her lose her cool many times with Scarlett. So if this was the very first time that the public had ever seen her lose her cool, and this was the video that she came out with, I would say, you know what, maybe she was having a bad day. And that's just what the internet happen to, you know, see, and it's heartbreaking for the child, but this is a one-time thing, but it's not a one-time thing with her. She blows up, it gets posted on TikTok, and then people get upset about it, and she gets upset that people are upset that she's upset at her child. You can't just mistreat your kid, delete the video, and then think that everybody needs to shut up about it, especially when it's a pattern. Scarlett is well loved by me and all of her family. Oh, I don't have time to do that. Your brother's going to do it in the car. Get in your seat now. Let's go. Come on. Love you. Can you say hey to everybody? I'm do, you, do you know where your brush is? Huh? I don't want to be in there. I don't want to be in there. Okay, tell everybody bye. Sorry. No, it's okay. Sorry. It's okay. Hey, all right. Bye. She doesn't want to be on camera, so we got to go. Bye. Sorry. It's okay. If you don't want to be on it, that's fine. All right. Here. Bye, y'all. This is a completely unhinged rant that she goes into. Listen to this because I was left scratching my head. I don't know what the hell this has to do with anything. We get into lions and tigers and bears, oh my, but let's let her take it away. Let me just give you an example. He wouldn't want me to be in the park when she was little because she, he was afraid that the eagles would come and snatch her and take her away. Or he didn't want me to go to the circus because the lions would get out of the cage, pick her out of the whole crowd, grab her and eat her alive, maybe. I'm not sure. But he is so overprotective that if something was going on, he would make sure that, you know, something would happen. He's so overprotective that he was worried about lions at the circus, which, by the way, you should not be taking your kids to circuses that have animals. That's a whole different conversation. But secondly, um, so he's worried about eagles at the park and lions at the circus. Um <clears throat> But he's so overprotective, but not overprotective to protect her from social media and all of the weird people that have built a parasocial bond with Scarlett and are completely and utterly obsessed with this child and every move that she makes. Um, and he's not mentioning anything about her digital footprint. So that is not the case because uh, she is with me full time and... Um, she does. So we're so overprotective over this child that we give her unconditional love and she's so loved by everyone in the family. Um, but we put her on Front Street on TikTok so that she can make all the money and mommy can basically condition her to grow up and be an influencer. She has already said that she is allowing this child to become an influencer if that's what she wants to do.
and that's why she so shows her comments from trolls and the the dark side of social media this is literally a child so don't tell me that you are so overprotective while simultaneously putting your children on uh, a social media platform and literally encouraging and conditioning them to become influencers themselves i see her dad but she is with me i do not force scarlet to do anything and if y'all know me and if y'all have seen the dynamics between her and i we it's very like come on scarlet hurry the freak up okay and she's like hey i gotta yell is it the best parenting probably not okay but you know what dad gum and i'm freaking doing the best i can as a single mom raising three being a single mom is not an excuse to scream at your children i understand okay i had you know single parents and i had a really interesting dynamic growing up so i understand part of that and not every situation is the same every household is a little bit different but um you know there are tons of single parents out there that some of them are even on TikTok. you don't see them screaming at their children not once not twice but multiple times but everything is an excuse. It's PMS. Um, I, I yell when I shouldn't yell. Let me yell and then let me put a video out and have uh, followers co-sign my awful behavior that I have shown that happens over and over and over again. As for the video that was alive about the money situation, that was a live that was done three years ago. And someone screen recorded it because people, I'm not quite sure why people do that. It's super freaking weird, but whatever. Um, someone screen recorded it and uh, have brought, they only screen recorded. Yeah, weird people exist on social media and you are putting your child out there for them to consume and be obsessed with and continue to, you know, basically like your, your followers are watching your child grow up and you want to sit here and say how overprotective you are while simultaneously making money by putting her out there, getting all the brand deals, getting all the sponsorships, um, and screaming at her when she's not doing what you want her to do at the moment you want her to do it. Just a little bit of it. They didn't scream before the whole thing. So basically someone had asked, what are you going to do if Scarlett don't want to do uh videos anymore i said that's fine and if she doesn't then we then we go then we do what then we're like okay well, we just won't do them anymore that's what i told her because mommy will find another way to make money okay because mommy will find another way to make money okay oh my daughter's it was me basically saying there is a, like i make i make really good money on my personal page of me just by myself, okay? So if Scarlett decided she didn't wanna do this anymore, that is fine. Half the time Scarlett comes to me and says, hey mom, I got this. But she makes so much more money by doing this page that we're on right now. I know that she has a personal page. She gets okay, decent views over there. I did look at it a couple days ago. Um, she gets decent views, but her child is the one that brings in the big bucks. And that is why this content continues to be produced and Scarlett is um, continued to, she, she, it's just all so unfair. It, it's so unfair to me and the common argument, of, oh, we're just having fun. This is lighthearted, blah, 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 blah. She gets tons of nasty comments. She gets tons of creepy comments. And if you get those comments and you continue to put your daughter out there and show her these comments and all of that kind of stuff, you know, everything comes down to money. It always comes down to that dirty dollar bill. I constantly talk about this. Um, the things that people will do for money on social media is disgusting and it's only getting worse. This idea, like this morning, we're in the drive through at Duncan and she said, hey mom, why don't we do this? Do you think that her child actually understands what all of this content means for her future? Because she is still a very young child. This is not somebody who has the, um, you know, the intelligence level because she shouldn't because she's a child still. She doesn't understand that 
there are some really creepy people like looking at me making these videos as a little child and they're um you know they have dirty minds and they're saving these videos and doing all kinds of weird stuff like she doesn't understand that of course she's watching a youtube video of somebody ordering what the car in front of them got and she thinks it's a good video idea but she doesn't understand the impact of being on social media and these videos being out there forever and not just your childhood videos but videos of your mother screaming at you will be out there forever go to the drive through and what we're going to say is we want the same order as the person in front of us the amount of messages i'm getting telling me to go myself and telling me that i need to get my daughter taken away from me telling you know i mean that they're you know going to me you know all kinds of stuff so okay so all these messages that she's getting if she is getting them that's awful don't agree with it never have never will but i am also to the point where i don't trust influencers and i don't trust people who exploit their kids for cash and notice how there is not one single piece of proof shown that she's getting these messages i i hate to say this this is gonna sound really terrible and it, some people might be mad at me for saying this but if you are getting so many of these messages, like it's a constant thing from all of these different people, all these different accounts are bothering you. Don't you think that you would save at least one of those? Because if you want to say I'm getting a high volume of these messages that are telling me to, you know, do permanent things, I have to be very careful with the words that I use. Um, I don't know maybe show one of them just saying I don't know I am going to therapy and this like I said this was three months ago and I'm working on my um, impatientness and my irritability and um, I don't like I said I don't want to say anger issues because I don't feel like I have anger issues it's just I don't like yelling I don't like that part of me when i yell it hurts okay, so now she's going to therapy but what about all the other times are we saying that after so many times that scarlet was screamed at then you finally realized because TikTok was calling you out people were making reaction videos to it then you finally said oh well i should see a therapist and who knows if she's even being truthful about seeing a therapist that could just be like the um you know her kind of get out of jail free card i don't know what this woman is thinking and frankly i don't trust anyone on the internet um but i think that it is so sad that things have been exposed multiple times you're mad that they were exposed even though you're the one that was screaming at your child oversharing, putting all of this hurtful content out there using her face and her, um, you know, personality to build your social media. Um, and, and now things have gotten this bad and it's been shown to be a pattern, but now we're supposed to believe that you're in therapy. Okay. Me, I don't like that. When I heard that back, I cringed real bad. I was like, Ooh, that looks horrible. So I want y'all to know that I am, I am working on it. I don't like it. And like I said, Scarlett is not doing anything she don't want to do, but Scarlett is good. And I thank you all for your concern and all the people that love. One thing I want to say is there are several comments in this video of people saying, oh, uh, you know, I, I've gotten upset with my kids. I've gotten snappy with my kids. That's just a normal parenting thing to do. I realize that you know, getting snappy and you're having a bad day or whatever and you get a little, you know, short. I understand that because I was a kid and I was on the receiving end of, you know, my parent or my caregiver maybe not having a um, really good day. And that is okay. That is what makes us human. But screaming at your child for not doing what you want them to do for a TikTok is not the same thing. Getting that upset that they are not performing in the way that you want them to perform for your monetized ad is not having a bad day and being snippy. So I think that, you know, in the beginning of the video, she, she really put that out 
early because she realizes that a lot of people are going to say, oh yeah, well, you know, I have a short fuse too. But her having a pattern of showing a short fuse and screaming at her child that she is using for monetary gain on social media and you getting upset at your chi child for slamming the door or not cleaning up their room, it's apples and oranges. You can't really compare it. I think that she did that um, by design because, like I said, she, you know, got some people to say, oh, yeah, well, I've been there, too. But it's not comparable, in my opinion. Um, I, I think that she obviously, like a lot of other influencers, has the ability to trick the people that are watching these videos and parasocially obsessed and um, just cannot wait to see Scarlett in the next video. She's really banking on them, just like a lot of other influencers do. But I give huge props and credits to the people who uh, do talk about her and do call out these patterns of toxicity and the issues of everything that has happened with Scarlett. And, um, you know, I, I'm always here for accountability culture, whether or not we ever see accountability from the influencer or creator, that's a whole different conversation. But I think that she is, um, you know, she has shown a pattern that she is a bad parent. And that is my opinion. Now, am I saying that it's the worst of the worst? No, I'm not saying that. But you don't have to be the worst of the worst to be categorized as a bad parent. And that is my personal opinion on things. There is a range of, you know, bad to worse to absolute, you know, bottom of the barrel. But nevertheless, I, I really wanted to share this because I felt like it was interesting. But I'm going to continue on with my day. So for now, if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.